I'm Zach, and this is Kat. <laughs> from the Center for Genomic Astronomy. And I have no idea if this how amuse bushes work, but we'll sort of in, in, in <laughs> introduce the night by taking this down. So, yeah? We're basically taste testing a few of the current products available on the market, so that are fake meats, um, and also providing some delicious alternatives like beans and rice and that. You look more like a cook, <laughs> but you are an artist. Yes. <laughs> you know, I think taste has been ignored too much in the <laughs> in the art world. It's about time that taste as another sense should have some prominence <laughs> as an art form. The experience of taste and how that affects you. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Course number two oh, wow. or three, the cannibalistic uh, <laughs> human eating experiment. Tonight we're looking at a lot of fake meats, and actually, when you make meat from cells grown in the lab, you can shape it however you want. You sort of need to do something with it because it can't just be a pile of cells. And shaping it like a human is maybe a bit strange because. It's no longer like shaped like a cow, it's just some cells, so it can be shaped like anything. What's the final purpose of the project for, um, you, for you? I think the main idea is can we tell a more complex story about the future of food? Because a lot of companies now and scientists are really thinking hard about how do we feed so many people on the planet. But usually their stories about the future are based on what they can do with technology or what they know about numbers through the economic measurements, but they don't know much about or don't talk much about how society might change or how politics might change, or these sort of stories, how culture might change. And so I think what we're hoping to do is tell a different collection of stories about the future of food that think more about, well, yeah, okay, people are starving, but even starving people don't like some food. And you have to take into account and think about people's taste and preference and culture and their history and the things that they want to eat. Uh, yeah, if we can have a more complex and nuanced uh, debate and story about the future of food, then I think it's hopefully successful.